this video is really something. It shows how all of this played out at highway speeds. This all started this morning as FBI agents prepared to serve a search warrant in Gladstone. From there, the chase was on. One of the suspects bailed out right here, but the other kept going, ending up right in front of Melissa Fink. It's a little after 10.15 this morning, and Melissa Fink is headed to her job in Lenexa. I was listening to a CD, so I didn't know that there was anything on the news. But suddenly, as she cruises on I-35 South, Fink finds herself smack dab in the middle of this. Honestly, I noticed that there was a problem with the guy's tire, and I thought maybe they were trying to help him. I don't know why I decided to pull out my camera. This evening, just, Fink still can't believe what she I captured I next. Did. Things changed very quickly, and I found myself kind of very close to things I shouldn't have been close to. I was right in the midst of this. Was she ever? As everyone approaches the 18th Street Expressway exit, things take a turn. The silver SUV bumps the Jeep Cherokee. The Cherokee then veers left, crossing four lanes before crashing into the barrier. The impact causes the driver to fall out of his Jeep. A black object falls to his side. U.S. Marshals bolt from their cars. Then you hear it. I was, I was pretty scared. I was pretty scared, honestly. The FBI says the man died after being rushed to the hospital. The ensuing investigation backed up traffic for miles. If I see anything that looks suspicious, to kind of stay back and stay away. I think right there with what she's learned from today's events, she was still understandably reeling when we talked to her about 8.30 tonight in Independence. Now, no word yet on the identity of the man shot on the highway. As for the man who bailed out here, he was arrested a short time later. Live downtown tonight, Eli Rosenberg, KNBC 9 News.